So I want to apologize, I forgot to mention we have two favorite sons of uh, Philadelphia, Joe Morton and Michael. Did I miss any other Philadelphians? Okay. And so today, of course, we, we celebrate uh, their own saint, the city, the great saint of, of the city of Philadelphia, Catherine Drexel, in fact, is I guess friars should know, especially those who live there now in West Philly, there's a, a university uh, named after her, not so much after her, but after the money of the great Drexel family. In fact, Catherine's uh, lineage uh, goes, uh, as you probably know, the Jacqueline Bouvier uh, Na Onassis Kennedy, or Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy Onassis, is in the Drexel family, the great uh, wife of uh, John F. Kennedy and later uh, uh, a Greek uh, rich man. Uh, but in any case, uh, when I think of Catherine, I, I, I always think of my favorite story, and I guess some of you know this story because it's, to my mind, the most memorable. Uh, so she gets to go to Rome with her very rich father and gets a private audience with the Holy Father at the time, Leo XIII, in 1887. I looked it up just before Mass. <laughs> And uh, she goes in there with her heart filled with concern uh, for African Americans and for Native American peoples. And, and of course at that time and still today, those people suffer greatly. And, and so she had this idea that, you know, my God, you know, we have all these orders in the United States now and founded for this reason and founded for that reason. And she said, you know, I'm going to tell the Pope that he he should start an order to reach out to African Americans and Native Americans. So she gets in there, and I don't know how old she is, I think she's a young woman at the time, probably in her early 20s, and she says to, to Leo, she says, Holy Father, uh, uh, Your Holiness, um, listen, we have a big problem over the United States, and you know, you, you should start a, an order for these people. And the story goes that Leo looked at her and says, why don't you do it? And of course, that's what she did. <laughs> she went back to the States and she said, okay, you can't get from a higher authority than the Pope. I'm going to do this. And so she started the, the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament. You could still visit their mother house up in uh, North Philly somewhere, right? Isn't it north of Philly where Catherine Drexel was buried? But I, I, I love that story because I think many of us go through life very much like Catherine Drexel. We, we get this instinct in our hearts and, and, and there's a, a word that we carry with us. Somebody, somebody should do something. Somebody should say something, you know. I'm thinking of Andy because a lot of times when I'm looking around the house, when I think somebody should fix that, I think, oh, I gotta call Andy. So he is the guy I turn to because I can't do that. But, but, but in many, many ways, we, we carry around in our hearts that tendency to think somebody out there should do something about this. And I, I think that we have to realize that the Lord gives us that impulse precisely because he's not looking for somebody else to do it. He's looking for you to do it. He's looking for me to do it. And of course, when I became guardian, that was the first thing that became very apparent to me is, you know, when somebody would say, well, somebody should say something to that friar, I realized that I was now that somebody, right? <laughs> but not just the guardian, every brother has that responsibility to, to recognize that, 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 that to put it out there is always to dodge the power of God's word. And today we have the, the Lord's Prayer, of course, I could have gone on and on about the Lord's Prayer, but I think that the Lord's Prayer shows us precisely that, that, that this prayer has to be incarnated in us. I, I, wanna, I wanna suggest to you maybe just two little words to put into the Lord's Prayer under your breath. So we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come in me. Thy will be done in me. And then we won't be dodging but rather we will be the somebody called to do God's will.